Hello techies! Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. Okay, so I will select Manager. Okay, so it's not there. Right. Which group's here? Manager is not there. Okay, manager is not there. What should I do now? What should I do? I want manager. I'll return the group. How do I do that? I think you have to edit the security group. It's not here. Yes, you're saying something about security group, or is it something else? Is it a security group or? Security group, sorry. What is it again? Let me duplicate. Is it security group? How can I add a security group here? That is my question. I want manager. I want manager here. So what should be? How can I add that to the list? That is my question. Security groups allowed for this. You see, my manager is not there. I want manager. How can I do that? The business process security. Create security group. I already have the manager security group. I just need to be able to use it in the definition. Maintain permission. Maintain permissions? For what? Security group. Okay, but that will give me domain security policy permissions. It's a business process security policy. Business process security policies. Yes, so I have to edit the business process security policy. So how do I do that? Business process security policies for functional area. Absolutely. So business process. Or, since I have the business process definition already in this page. So I've opened a duplicate screen. So in one screen, I have the edit business process definition, not a screen, actually duplicate tab. So in that other tab, I have the business process definition. So in Workday, there are multiple ways of doing the same thing. So here what I can do is I can go to the related actions of the business process. I can go to business process policy. You see business process policy, and I can straight away edit the business process policy. This is the easiest way of doing it. Business process related actions. Business policy edit. But you are also right when you say that business process, security policy, or functional area. If I go in that route, I will also be able to go to the same particular place. But in that case, the only thing is I need to know the functional area. What is if I do not know the functional area? Then what can I do? How can I search? 
Use security for securable items. Great. I'm very happy that you are aware of this. I just remember this view. Security for securable items. Absolutely. So now, if I go here, you'll see very interesting things. Some of our friends who are working on this tenant, they have no idea what they're doing. And that's how they ended up doing this. I hope it's none of you, JNR. I hope it's none of you. The reason I'm telling is I have told this repeatedly that the business process security policy is the same for all instances of the business process. Whenever you are making changes to the business process security policy, you add your own things. You do not remove the existing ones, because this is not specific to your business process definition. This is generic for every single business process out there of the same type. Now, whoever is JNR, what he or she ended up doing is he or she messed up the entire business process. Security policy. Because, you see, everywhere we have JNR, JNR, and they have removed all the other ones, which is absolutely not what you should be doing. So anyway, let's try to at least do something. So we go to edit permissions, and then what happens is I will not clean up the entire thing. I will let somebody else to do it. So in the initiate action, who can initiate, who can start the business process? Let's include age or partner. Let's include that role. Sorry, the security group. Let's include this. It's not related to any. I think it was H, our partner M. That was the security group. Yes, H, our partner M. So I think this is linked to the age or partner assignable role. Perfect. So I have given them the right to initiate the business process. Number one. Number two. I have to also include the age or partner or the manager in the approval step. Remember, in the business process security policy, there is a step where you can specify who can approve. Here is that section. So I have to include the manager. I have to include the manager security group. I don't know if it is manager or is it still manager M. Manager M. Okay. I think this has a lot of comments. So it looks like this is the one. I will also see if there is anything called Manager M. Not sure. No. Anyway, Manager is the right one, it seems. So I have added the Manager to be able to do an Approve. I will just remove this unnecessary ones. Whoever is J and R, they can come back and they will fix it. I am removing all J and R's. Okay. So now the implementers are able to do it, and the manager is able to do it as well. Now I will also add my manager to the list of you all. Okay. View all. So I will remove this JNR. I am doing it intentionally, so that person has to come back and review the security policy. Okay. So I will assign it to manager as well. Right. 
the manager can view all. And I will also include H, our partner M. Okay. And who can do actions on the entire business process. I will also include a couple of other things like compensation partner. Okay. Compensation partner should be included. Compensation partner M. Oops. Is this the one? Yes, this is the one. So compensation partner. So we have also assigned this and yeah, I think that is okay. So I will have to save this. And then what happens after you save it? Activate pending. Activate. Activate policies for functional area. Activate. Right. Activate pending. And it comes. Activate pending security policy changes. So let's say test and click OK. Oh, just three minutes ago somebody did something. I hope they activated. Oh, no, no, they didn't activate mine. I just saved it. Okay, so we changed the higher business process right. That's what it's showing. Click OK. And OK. All right. So now, if I go back to my business process definition, I should be able to see my manager as part of the list, and it is there, right? Because I edited the business process security policy permissions. If you do not see a group in the drop down, then you know what to do, right? You know what to do. You have to go to the business process security policy and you have to add the group in the appropriate section in the approval or in the action steps, right? You have to do that. Okay, so let me do that one more time. The page refreshed. So AA, it was an approval step. And if I go to the right, I go to the group and I go and see security groups allowed for this workflow step. I select Manager. Right, so this is done. Yes. Questions? Samgita? Yeah. Oh no, it's fine. Fine. All right. So now let's add one more step. So this other step that I will do is another B. Another B step. And this time I will use action. Action. Action meaning it can. It will help you to enrich the process or enrich the transaction or trigger a sub-process right. So you select the specify. In the specify, you select which sub-process you want to call. So there are a bunch of sub-processes that you can actually call. I will select the same thing one more time. Propose compensation hire. You know the reason why. The reason is because I will use this H, our partner for my U.S. employees, and I will use the compensation partner for my U.K. employees. Right. I will do it separately. So let's see if my security group is there. Quite a few people are there. Let me search for compensation partner now. I hope I have one compensation partner, M. Not there. Okay. 
So now you see that there is a problem, right? Compensation partner M is not there. Again, what do I need to do to fix it? How can I have compensation partner in this particular drop down list? I have to go back and add it. I have to go back and add. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rateuptalk.com.